Hello, so I'm going to show everybody how I do my chicken pen and my chicken house in order to keep out vermins such as um, raccoons. Uh, here we have my chicken house here it's to accommodate my small flock of chickens. Uh, last year I had six, 16 to 18. Uh, they pretty much all got ravaged by the raccoons so that I set out uh, to proclaim war on these. Now I've uh, obtained some new chickens. I'm up to 10 now, nine chickens and a nice rooster. Um, this is how I do my chicken house. Now I have a gate here. It's uh, I just close it and secure it with a brick just to keep things from trying to push their way in. So I'll start in the chicken house here of course I built it out of all chicken wire nice and strong uh, it'll last a while keeping raccoons out. Raccoons are pretty strong and if that wire starts getting rusty they're gonna start breaking through it so I made sure to make the roof in such a way that it sheds off water and doesn't get a, a lot of water on to the um, chicken wire. Also, when I do, and I did this around the fence too, um, this chicken wire comes down and it drapes over the ground. And I have it draping here about eight inches. Now the reason for that is, is when a vermin start comes up and wants to dig underneath, they're gonna go to the corner and start digging. And here you can see where something has tried to get in. Of course, the chickens dig there. So that's one way to keep them from digging under your chicken house. Uh, another way is, and I've just, I just thought about this the other day, is I have these old roofing tiles, uh, asphalt tiles. I'll put them up against the chicken house and that's gonna keep a, a vermin that tries to dig under there is gonna just scrape his hands on that and he's gonna be deterred from, um, going in and also it helps shed the water off now I just put that around the whole chicken house uh, my egg laying nest there's a little guy in there laying an egg a little girl uh, they have a door on the back side so you just access it from the back side you don't even have to get into the chicken house uh, this door so that happens all around the chicken house at night, I shut the door, I latch it, and I have this steel bar. You can also put a brick in front of it, but I have this steel bar here that goes and holds the door, and it also keeps things from wanting to get underneath there. So that, you just gotta take every precaution when you're dealing with these raccoons because they will come and devastate your flock. When I built the chicken house, this pen, this is like maybe about a uh, 20 by 20, 20 by 30 foot pen. Um, now I did this, I put the four foot wire here and the four foot wire comes to about a foot off the ground. See? And then I took some two foot wire and attached it onto the four foot wire, very secure. And then I ran it over the ground about this. It looks about eight to 10 inches here, but you can run up to a foot over the ground and that'll keep the vermins from coming in and trying to dig underneath because all they're gonna hit is wire under there. This has worked for years for me to keep things out of my chicken house. Uh, I have that all the way around, around the chicken pen. So, I, these chickens, now last winter, or last fall, we had a problem, I had to go out of town for two weeks. And when I did that, the people who were taking care of the chickens didn't shut the door. You gotta shut the door every night. If you don't shut the door, something's gonna get in. Every night, when you put these chickens away, you have to make sure everything is secure, and I guarantee nothing is gonna get in there. I had, I had my first batch of chickens I've had for three, four years. Uh, by the way, you can keep chickens as long as 
They stay alive and they will always lay eggs for you right up until they die. They don't lay one a day, so it's not good for the industry if you're going to have an egg laying industry. But if you have just a home flock, then an egg every other day or an egg every three days is good enough for you. Plus, these eggs, instead of being that small little two inch size, some of them get pretty huge and some are double yokers when you have senior chickens. So I just keep them their whole life. Uh, as long as I can keep them alive, keep the vermins off of them. Just last couple months ago, I when I declared war on the raccoons, I got a trap and I caught four of them <clears throat> uh, in the trap. Uh, don't ask me what I did with them. Uh, you know, eye for an eye, that's totally up to you. But I was pretty angry at these uh, raccoons. Some of them I took far away and release them some of them i scared them like they scare the chickens i scared them and release them so that they get imprinted and not want to come back to the thing and then other ones i did well some unmentionable things but i'm not going to get into that it, like i said it's totally up to you as to how you can dispose of these uh evil creatures that kill chickens um just so you know, I did this just the other day. I put these wires, these aren't electric, this is steel wire for electric fence, but I, I, I put two strands of them up there and that's to keep the flying chickens from trying to get over. They're, they're, they're gonna look up at this wire and go, oh, I'm not gonna try to get through that. And it's worked for the most part, except for one, uh, a feisty white one. And in that case, I just kinda get my scissors out and clip the end wings off of one side and that'll throw them off a of balance and they won't be able to fly. Uh, things you have to do, huh? Anyways, uh, don't forget to uh, look at my videos about how I catch Japanese beetles and feed them to the chickens. I'm going to set that up later on when the Japanese beetles start, you know, proliferating here. But they act, that's a lot of protein for the chicken and believe me, they're there's a lot of beetles around here. Uh, check out that video. And uh, I might have some more about how I care for these chickens. I keep my chickens penned up. I don't let them out in the yard because uh, I have a nice garden over there and they'll go and devastate the garden.